how difficult is it to trust your eyes that they're seeing what they're actually seeing and not getting lost in the misdirection? Yeah, I think it's twofold. Um, you know, understanding the scheme that the coach puts in and everybody's responsibilities and where your eyes and your keys are supposed to be. Uh, so playing your assignment, but then also there's an instinctual part of this game where football players make plays and find the football and go, go attack the, the football. So that's what Darius is talking about. And is it just simply, again, just being that half second slow, maybe when you're thinking and processing, is that what makes Baltimore so difficult? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, with all that misdirection, I mean, it takes a certain type of player to, you know, anticipate what they're going to do and anticipate correctly uh, because they're trying to get you off your keys, get, uh, get you looking at the wrong thing, the wrong half step because, you know, they're all fast players. So it's really about just being on your keys and tr trusting your athletic ability. Do these guys maybe test your discipline more than any other team you face or not? Uh... Maybe a little bit. I think just with the college offense, with the swing option, double swing option, all the stuff they do, all the crossers, pullers, counters, and all that, they're really just trying to test your eyes and your rules. Buck was saying you really have to trust that you do your job and trust that these guys will do their job. That is, I mean, that's every game, but these guys sort of exploit it if you don't. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I mean there's, some, there's some plays where you know your key is telling you go away from the ball, go with the pullers, or go with the guy jet motion out. So, like on that, on one hand, it's everybody doing the responsibility and being where they're supposed to be. And then on the other hand, it's football players making plays and attacking the football. Bobby, there are a lot of teams that you, you will see pretty frequently, especially teams in the division across the conference. How beneficial is it the fact that you played Baltimore just one season ago? That's fresh in your mind. You know, that team, in addition to a lot of other teams. I, I mean, it's similar offense. Uh, a lot of that swing option, double option stuff. I mean, they have regular offense where they're running power, counter. So, you know, trusting our fundamentals and, you know, we've kind of practiced them a little bit in the off season. So, you know, just being able to play discipline and play free on game day. And how does the tight end, Mark Andrews, how does he kind of factor in everything again when you're looking at Lamar, watching the ball, and then he can pull it and maybe the RPO, or, and he's a, he can get vertical as well. So when you have someone, a big body player like Mark Andrews, just with everything else going on, how does he factor into how difficult Baltimore is to stop? Yeah, no, I mean, great compliment uh, to their offense and, you know, tough matchup versus linebackers because, uh, you know, a lot of times linebackers, you're reading your keys, reading pullers, and then you see him up the field and you got to cover him or he's running a deep over and he's going attacking your weak hook. So uh, just being disciplined with your keys and eyes, I mean, we're all confident in our ability to cover anybody on the field. So Again, I know you said discipline, but when things break down, what, what, what are kind of your responsibilities then when Lamar is scrambling? I know it's not a, a free-for-all. I know that everyone has an assignment, but how difficult is it to – you know, stay true to your assignment when he's breaking the pocket and you know how dangerous he is. Yeah, I mean, uh, you trust the game plan. You know, sometimes uh, the rusher's got to hawk him down or you got spy guys in there. Um, but if you're in coverage, stay in coverage. But at the end of the day, uh, we all know that we're good athletes. We'll be able to chase him down if we keep that cup, kind of corral him in. So just playing that fundamentally sound football.